In a world already shaken by the impossible, one man has once again rewritten the rules of science. Maxwell Chikumbutso has just done it again, and this time, what he's revealed feels like something torn straight out of the future. After years of speculation, silence, and subtle hints, the Zimbabwean inventor has officially announced his next creation, a self-powered invention so advanced that experts are struggling to even describe how it works. It's not a car, not a bus, not a drone, and not a generator. This time, Maxwell has gone beyond anything the human mind could easily imagine. He calls it the core, a compact, self-powered quantum device capable of creating, storing, and transmitting limitless clean energy through the air to anything, anywhere, at any time. Yes, you heard that right. A single device capable of wirelessly powering entire homes, vehicles, cities, and even spacecraft without any cables, fuels, or external sources. The announcement sent shockwaves through the global scientific community. For decades, researchers have dreamed of creating a fully self-sustaining energy core, a technology that doesn't just produce power, but reshapes how energy itself exists in our daily lives. And now, it appears Maxwell has done it. He unveiled the prototype at a private event in Harare, surrounded by his research team and a handful of international observers. Those present described it as a metallic sphere the size of a basketball, glowing with faint blue hue, suspended inside a transparent casing, without any visible connection to a power source. The moment he switched it on, the lights in the entire facility turned off, and yet everything remained powered. Devices, monitors, and even the building's air conditioning system kept running. The audience watched in stunned silence as Maxwell simply smiled and said, this is not electricity as you know it. This is creation energy. The room erupted in disbelief. Could this really be the next leap beyond self-powered cars and homes? According to Maxwell, the core operates using a unique principle that blends magnetic resonance, gravitational balancing, and quantum tunneling, forming a feedback loop that sustains itself indefinitely. It's not just perpetual motion, it's perpetual creation. The core, he explained, doesn't drain from existing energy, but taps into the quantum vacuum, the infinite sea of energy that exists in every point of space. By stabilizing the interaction between matter and vacuum energy, the core generates usable electricity without combustion, solar input, or mechanical motion. Imagine a world where your phone never needs charging, where your home, car, or city runs forever without bills, pollution, or dependence. That's the kind of world Maxwell envisions. But this invention isn't just about convenience. It's about survival. Global energy demands are skyrocketing. Fossil fuels are dwindling and renewables, while promising, can't yet sustain global scale without stored challenges. Maxwell's core, if proven and mass-produced, could single-handedly dismantle the world's energy infrastructure. Governments, corporations, and investors are all reportedly scrambling to understand how such a device could exist and how to control it. According to those close to Maxwell, he's already received offers worth billions for exclusive licensing rights, but he's turned them all down. He reportedly said, this isn't for sale, this is for humanity. It's a statement that echoes his past, where many of his self-powered inventions, from electric cars to home generators, were met with skepticism and suppression. And yet, each time his work has survived, evolved, and resurfaced stronger. This time, though, the stakes are higher than ever. Because if Maxwell's core truly works as he claims, it will mean the end of the grid, the end of energy monopolies, the end of power as a commodity. Think about that for a second. Every light, every city, every vehicle, powered indefinitely without cost or control. That's more than technology. That's freedom. In a world built on energy dependency, that kind of invention is revolutionary and dangerous. Insiders suggest that after the announcement, several unnamed entities attempted to contact Maxwell within hours, some even offering full relocation and lab funding abroad. But Maxwell refused. He reportedly told his team that the core must be built in Africa because Africa has paid the highest price for power it never owned. That single line sent chills through everyone in attendance. It wasn't just about technology anymore. It was about justice, about rewriting a system that has long profited from scarcity and dependency. Maxwell's prototype, according to witnesses, was tested across multiple scenarios during the demonstration. 
It powered an electric bus for over 36 hours straight without charging. It charged 10 smartphones simultaneously from a distance of 50 meters. It even powered an entire medical lab without being physically connected to anything. The core simply sat there, humming quietly, glowing faintly, emitting no heat, smoke, or noise. Observers claimed it even adjusted its energy output automatically, depending on what devices were nearby. That means it's not just a generator. It's an intelligent, adaptive power source that senses demand and responds accordingly. A living form of energy. Scientists from Europe and Asia who were present described it as a cross between a Tesla coil, a fusion reactor, and something not yet discovered. Even more astonishing, Maxwell revealed that the device's internal temperature remain constant regardless of output load, meaning no overheating, no degradation, and no mechanical wear. It simply endures. When asked how it was built, Maxwell explained that it uses a series of layered nanomaterials capable of capturing and recycling quantum fluctuations. He claimed that by aligning magnetic domains in a precise pattern, he was able to stabilize the chaotic quantum fields that normally cause energy loss. In simpler terms, it turns randomness into usable power. The crowd was stunned. Reporters who attended described the atmosphere as surreal, a blend of awe and disbelief. Some said it felt like witnessing the moment humanity discovered fire again. But of course, not everyone believes it. Mainstream scientists are calling for independent verification. Some are labeling it an illusion, a hoax, or a misinterpreted electromagnetic experiment. Yet, Maxwell remains calm. He's invited multiple institutions, including universities and private engineers, to replicate his setup independently. He's even open-sourced a portion of the design's basic layout, releasing non-critical schematics online for the public to study. Within hours, forums across the world exploded with discussions, theories, and experiments. Tech enthusiasts began building small replicas, claiming they were seeing strange energy outputs even without external input. Something is definitely happening. Whether it's misunderstood science or a genuine breakthrough, it's undeniable that Maxwell has ignited a new global conversation. What if energy doesn't have to be generated, but simply accessed? What if the universe itself is the battery? That's the question now being asked everywhere from labs to boardrooms. The core challenges everything we know about thermodynamics, conservation laws, and human innovation. It suggests that what we once thought impossible, endless clean energy, might have been possible all along, and that humanity just needed someone bold enough to reach into the unknown and pull it out. Maxwell's previous inventions, self-powered cars, drones, and homes, were only precursors, steps leading to this. Each device, he now says, was a learning phase, a test of the principles that culminated in the core. When asked how long he's been working on it, he said quietly, since before the world was ready. That single sentence says it all. Because readiness is what this invention challenges most. Are we ready for a world without energy bills? A world where every individual is power independent? A world where nations can no longer weaponize electricity or oil? For many, that world sounds like paradise. For others, it's chaos. Because power, in all forms, has always meant control. And when you remove control, you change everything. That's why Maxwell's announcement feels less like a product launch and more like a revolution. A silent, scientific uprising against centuries of limitation. One engineer at the event reportedly said, If this is real, then this is not just a next step. It's the last step of human dependence. The implications are staggering. Imagine disaster zones where portable cores can restore power instantly. Imagine villages in Africa lighting up overnight without ever connecting to a grid. Imagine spacecraft traveling across the solar system without fuel. Imagine a phone that never turns off or a car that drives forever. That's what this tiny metallic sphere promises. And yet, Maxwell warns that the technology must be used wisely. He stated clearly that energy without purpose becomes chaos. To him, the core isn't meant for luxury. It's meant for liberation. He envisions it powering remote schools, hospitals, and transportation systems in places long abandoned by modern infrastructure. He believes it could transform Africa from a consumer of global technology to its creator. That's why 
instead of taking it to foreign investors. He's partnering with local universities and youth engineers. He's even creating what he calls energy freedom hubs, small community workshops where people can learn, experiment, and eventually build their own self-powered devices. He says, if every person can understand how power works, they will never be controlled again. It's a philosophy as much as it is a technology. And that's what makes it revolutionary. Because true change doesn't start with invention. It starts with empowerment. But how close is the core to public release? Maxwell says the prototype is stable and ready for scaling. But safety testing is still ongoing. He wants to ensure the energy field produced by the core is biologically safe for long-term exposure. Early results are promising, showing no harmful radiation or thermal emissions. Still, he insists on caution. He understands the weight of what he's holding, because this is not just an invention. It's the power of creation itself, bottled inside a human-made shell. And if history has taught us anything, it's that every great discovery comes with responsibility. When nuclear power was first discovered, it promised free energy, and then came the bomb. When digital networks were born, they promised freedom and brought surveillance. So, what will infinite power bring? That's the question Maxwell himself leaves unanswered. He says the technology is neutral. It's humanity that must decide what to do with it. As the announcement spreads, scientists, engineers, and governments are already reacting. Some nations are calling for global regulation before such devices can be used. Others are demanding that all information about the core be made public for safety evaluation. But Maxwell's stance remains firm. He believes knowledge belongs to everyone, not a select few. He's planning an open global broadcast soon, where he'll power an entire off-grid facility live using the core alone. It will be humanity's first real-time demonstration of self-sustaining, wireless, quantum-based power. If successful, it could mark the beginning of a new era, one where energy is no longer a privilege, but a birthright. And maybe, just maybe, this will finally prove what Maxwell has been saying for years. That power doesn't come from the ground or the sky, but from understanding the universe itself. He believes that everything vibrates with energy and that by learning at harmony, we can create balance, not chaos. That's why he calls the core a heart for planet. Because once it starts beating, it never stops. For those who have followed Maxwell's journey from the beginning, this moment feels inevitable. The man who gave us self-powered cars, wireless charging networks, and off-grid communities has now unveiled something beyond imagination, something that could redefine civilization. But the story doesn't end here, because even as the world debates, tests, and doubts, one truth remains. Innovation can never be contained. Whether the world accepts it or not, Maxwell's core represents the unstoppable momentum of human progress. It's the spark of a new dawn, and perhaps the final key to unlocking a future where energy, freedom, and humanity become one. So as the lights of the world flicker under the weight of old systems, somewhere in a quiet lab in Africa, a small blue sphere hums softly, rewriting history in silence. And soon, that silence will turn into a sound the world will never forget, the sound of limitless power awakening. Because once the core lights up the world, there's no going back.